respected listeners and viewers today i am going to talk about some very important directions given by the honorable supreme court of india to protect the chitor gad fort and notified monument under the ancient and historical monuments and archaeological sites and remains declaration of national importance act of 1951 and the ancient monuments archaeological sites and remains act 1958 and also a notified unesco world heritage site the fort attracts tourists from far and near for sightseeing and to look at the tall and strong structures on the hill top of chittorgarh evidencing the grit and ability to withstand all adversities despite the passage of centuries from the time of construction the fort retains some significant world class structures including the vijay stamb kirti stamb padmini palace kumbha palace and meera mandir near the fort limestone formations from the vindhyan age are present in the area primarily located in nimbahera city between nimbahera shales and suket shales the state considers limestone a valuable mineral resource utilized as a raw material in various industries consequently the state government granted mining leases to private individuals and industrial organizations for different sized areas near the fort however the excessive and improper extraction of these minerals through aggressive mining practices posed a significant risk to the preservation and sustainability of the fort litigation arose concerning mining activities near the fort shri thakur umesh singh rathor filed writ petition number 1316 of 1999 a public interest litigation before the high court of rajasthan contesting blasting operations for limestone extraction that could potentially damage the structures of the fort the high court of rajasthan concluded the case on 6th august 2012 and issued several directives to safeguard the chittorgarh fort these directives included prohibiting blasting within a 10 km radius of the fort restraining the mining department from grant, granting mining leases within the same radius and revoking existing mining leases within the specified area furthermore the court instructed birla cement and other mine holders involved in blasting to collectively pay rupees 5 crores in compensation with the birla cement being responsible for 90% of the amount the compensation was designated for the repair and maintenance of the fort under the supervision of the archaeological survey of india and a plan for repairs and improvements was to be submitted to the court within 4 months subsequently birla corporation limited filed a special leave petition civil number 21211 of 2012 with the supreme court of india disputing the directions of the judgment of the high court additionally several other special leave petitions were associated with the main case in the special leave petition on january 12 2024 the supreme court of india issued several significant directions for the protection of the chittorgarh fort Rest, number 1 restrictions on blasting activities blasting ban within a 5 km radius the most crucial direction is the prohibition of mining 
by blasting or use of exclusive explosives for mining any minerals within a radius of 5 kilometers from the compound wall of the fort this addresses concerns about the damaging impact of vibrations from blasting on the delicate structures of the ancient monument existing leases within 5 km notably the order does not automat- automatically cancel existing mining leases within the 5 km radius however it raises critical questions about their future and the possibility of alternative mining methods without blasting within this zone number 2 expert committee and study to constitute an expert committee the court directed the constitution of an expert committee comprising representatives from the archaeological survey of india the central building research institute and other relevant bodies this committee will examine the environmental impact of all mining and blasting activities near the fort even beyond the 5 km radius a study on non blasting impact the committee is tasked with the studying the impact of mining activities even without blasting on the fort's structural integrity and surrounding environment this broader scope ensures a comprehensive assessment of potential threats third other directions restoration plan and compensation the supreme court directs the preparation of a plan for the restoration of any damage caused to the fort by mining activities additionally mine holders including birla corporation which challenged the high court's earlier earlier order are required to pay compensation for restoration traffic management the court recognized the potential impact of heavy traffic on the fort and directed a study on its consequences recommendations for managing traffic to minimize harm are expected further review and monitoring the court ordered periodic reports from the committee and reserved the right to pass further directions based on their findings and recommendations this ensures ongoing monitoring and potential adjustments to safeguard the fort thank you